Hi Libra, this is your channel messages for the 2nd of October. I am your host Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and tarot reader Libra. I don't have a channel message for you. I was going to go into your reading, but then this song came up on my For You YouTube homepage, and I said, you know what, it, remi it reminds me. Never mind, I don't want to call them name because I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be a different person in my life now, okay? So it reminds me of um, when I was going to French school. Let me just say that, okay? So I saw this song. I want to sing this song for you, Libra, okay? All right. I hope you like it, Libra. Let's go. When you were here before, gonna look you in the eye. You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry I, You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special you're so fucking special oh oh but i'm a creep this is rogers rogers canada and i'm a hero libra what the hell am i doing here oh i don't belong here oh Oh, but I'm a creep And I'm a window Libra again What the hell am I doing here? What are you doing here, Libra? Or maybe what is this other person doing here? Because I believe that the plans you had for this person Is not how it played out, okay? Let's go ahead and go into your reading, Libra I was trying to sing creep by radio head but it looked like rogers canada is under the same thing they might have bought bell but they did not improve the service okay let's go we have kill them with kindness kill them with kindness we have taurus oh my god you did it with the taurus libra we have the world card the taurus is somewhere across the world from you we have cursed so did you curse Taurus? Or is a Taurus really cursed? CP24 would never know. We have the Empress. Nope, the Taurus ain't cursed. You curse Taurus. And we have there's a ghost in my room. No, the curse I'm seeing here could be the curse of talking to the dead. Is the curse of spirits always following you because they know that they can communicate through you. Taurus, the world card. No, also, it sh it, you should know that, um, like, I don't know if somebody at I try to hint to you that listen, me know every celebrity that has been a celebrity, them started from being a nobody where people never know them, where they may or may not have a thought in them head and they told people around them. Some people knew that they were going to be big, 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 but never told anybody. Some people always knew. Me getting um you might think that something would never take off, something is never going to happen. Me getting somebody that will become world renowned. Somebody may have already saw the future already, which is what if you notice somebody might act <laughs> If you notice somebody might act Like them have more than them actually have me not talk about somebody lying or boasting or pretending Me getting somebody is carrying the energy of an emperor even though them don't have nothing me getting cause somebody know them future already so you might be like, yo, fuck that nigga, fuck that bitch no. Okay, fuck that no bitch no. Fuck that nigga no. Imagine what Beyonce ex said to her. Imagine man would be like, you know somebody used to do with Beyonce? But you know somebody break up with Beyonce, but they left Beyonce. Right. No, seriously, I used to be with Beyonce. Bro, why would you leave Beyonce? Oh, because you were too insecure? That's okay. <laughs> nah. Let's go. 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 So I'm getting the Taurus is the Empress, yeah. You're getting somebody that will be world renowned. Like world renowned. Like we ain't talking just YouTube renowned. We're talking world renowned. Somebody going to be traveling to countries for the for, perform whatever this is. There's a ghost in my room. You're getting you can talk to the dead. Or you and the dead have a pretty interesting communication. 
The world card is a nine of swords. Yeah, I'm getting someone fame is getting bigger and bigger and you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. Maybe you're scared somebody's going to get too big without you. So maybe you try to dog somebody before somebody left you in their dust. How, how do you know you wasn't going to come along the ride? Hmm? Then Pop Smoke said, uh, and I'm going straight to the top of you ain't afraid of heights. As long as you're not afraid of heights, you're, you're, you're good to go. But if you're afraid of heights, if you're afraid of the torment, if you're afraid of the fans, them, you're afraid of backlash, you're afraid of what people are going to say, sir, you cannot come on the ride. So you might feel like somebody is making a conscious decision to ignore you. No, somebody is making a conscious decision for what you are here do. Because if you can't handle the ride at this speed, you ain't going to be able to handle the ride when somebody's way up there. Way up. I'm blessed, right? But I'm getting you're having nightmares now. Because it's either somebody's coming into stardom or... You decide to be somebody who was a part of a team for sabotage them. They still are coming to stardom. And I'm getting you won't be there for the ride. It is okay. Judas felt pretty shitty too after betraying Jesus. That's fine. <laughs> Kill them with kindness. Is a hermit card. Yeah, Virgo. Maybe think you were supposed to be hidden all your life. Your face was supposed to be hide. Or maybe a Virgo don't want to see you with this. There's a Virgo in a circle. The Virgo might be acting very kind and very supportive of getting the Virgo don't want to see it. The Virgo is deliberately catching your star and locking up your star. So be getting a Virgo and some people made a deal that you, Libra, or somebody else would not break out in the industry. Thus the song, what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. You don't belong here, Libra. You belong somewhere up in the skies with the stars. You belong on a red carpet. You belong on a, like having an award. We're getting is a Virgo I try to stop this. Where they have been. Cursed is the Knight of Cups. I'm getting someone needs you to be a wife. That means you have to be submissive. Your dreams, you being independent, you making a lot of money, you being a top earner, um, that should not be in your uh, peripheral vision. We're getting the Virgo is trying to chain you or them a try for... They took the star from you because so them want you to serve one man. Can you imagine this fuck? You're born upon this earth. God give you two size sea breasts and a tight blood clot pussy. For a fucking Virgo for tell you say that you're... For your fucking Virgo, Virgo is a virgin. So Virgo, maybe you feel like your role in life is to please a man. Maybe you think your role in life is to be a virgin Mary to wait. Wait until the kingdom comes. So wait with all the virginness and nobody count. You believe that you should wait for your man to come. No, no man wants a girl with a high body count. Listen, you claim you want a high value man yet, yet you're for the streets. I'm telling you, that would never fucking happen, right? So Virgo, you believe that your purpose is for a man. That is great. That is great, Virgo. That is great. Other people who have a brain don't believe these things. <laughs> Remember, um, Eve did not have a baby in the Garden of Eden. While she have, may have been made from the ribs of Adam, she wasn't pregnant in the Garden of Eden for a reason. That's the first motherfucking thing. The second motherfucking thing is a Virgo want you, I don't know if you want your brain washed or somebody want you to believe that your purpose is to serve a man. You don't get to make the executive decisions. You don't get to own a company. You don't get to spend money how you want to spend it. You don't get to call your own shots. You have to serve a man. That is your curse. I'm getting that's not your curse. Libra, that's what a Virgo is trying to say to you. No, Libra was with Virgo at one point. So this could be some, something about your ex-husband. Or something about your exes don't want to go off of you. Yes, we did. My Avalipa man and some of them in the care for Some of them will fuck and never call them back. No, them hate me. Virgo, Libra, <laughs> the contract. There's a many men I have not made contracts with. I'm a fuck them and never call them back and them hate me. They must stop out my blood clot. They made sure that they had a group so any new man will fuck. They must tell a new man my business. So the new man be like, you know what? Let's hate her too. <laughs> it no matter. I'm still a full of man can done. I'm a, you think me a pressure no man? Why would I pressure a man? Why would I do that? I'm full of man can done. I'm not pressure none. <laughs> Be getting a Virgo while you believe that you're nothing without a man. 
If you ain't serving a man, what the fuck are you really doing? Bitch, you living happily and healthy. <laughs> Let's see what the Empress is. So maybe your mom was somebody she never worked, she never had a career, she never had a sense of personal belonging. It's because your father did take that from her. Your father believed that your mother was not supposed to have anything for herself. Her job, her attention, and her time was supposed to be focused on him, his goals, his aspirations, and basically the decisions that he wanted to make. Thank God you ain't as dumb as your mama. Sorry, mom. But I'm just saying, that had you fucked up. You know that, mom? I'm just saying. Listen, we love both parents, and we're glad that both of y'all came together to perform coitus to have us. But that got you fucked up, man. My, my dad wanted a motherfucking clown. He didn't want a motherfucking wife. Let me motherfucking tell you that. Let me, he, got, he got mom fucked the fuck up. That's why as soon as mom got that visa, she was like, yo, fuck all of y'all niggas. I'm gonna get my pussy eat. <laughs> No, but seriously though, my dad had her fucked up. So I don't know, maybe you're from the <laughs> maybe you're from the same shit. Getting someone wants you to believe that your purpose is serving a man. Ew. <laughs> Ew, the fuck? The Empress is a sun card, yeah. Or your purpose is to have a baby. <laughs> maybe the Virgo turned you into a baby doll. The Virgo turns you into a baby doll. That's what a Virgo did. Because a Virgo is okay with you helping people with their ideas. The Virgo is okay to help people with them business. But when it comes down to fucking, I don't know what the fuck Virgo is up with. Um, either way, the Empress, you're still happy with or without a man. And remember, you don't need a man to get a baby either. You can't end up. So why do we really need a man? Let's just talk to it. If, if, why do we really need a man in that sense? You don't need a man to provide for you. You need him the same way him need you. Because man out there can cook. Woman can cook too. Man out there can clean. Woman can clean too. Man out there a whole 95 jobs. Women a whole 95 jobs too. So, what, so, so I, I, I don't understand. It seems like if both parties turn their back at each other, we will be at a standstill. And then humanity cannot, it can't, it can't progress. But at the same time, um, one thing is for motherfucking sure, the Empress is pretty happy here. She pretty happy. Even if the Virgo goal is to get somebody to impregnate the Empress and leave her as a single mother, um, she will still be happier than your mom. Hmm. I'd still be, even if a man fucked me now and left me with a single baby, I'd still be happier than my mom. My dad got my mom fucked up. Okay, there's a ghost in my room. The um, yeah, the, so the ghost yeah, the ghost is telling I am I am t hi I'm the ghost. I am telling you, my dad had my mom fucked up. <laughs> my dad. Had my mom fucked up. And let me just share a little thing here. So Virgo is a Virgo is a clothed man. He's also the man who was overseas. He's the watcher, right? But Pisces was psychic. Pisces was a high priestess. So 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 let me let me share a story about my parents that my parents may have not shared with the world. So my father was a Virgo and my mother was a Pisces. My father was a mason, but my mother was psychic. Now, because my father was mason, and he think he knew everything that there is to know in life, he did not want my mother to do certain things. He never want my mother to express our gifts. So he locked her the fuck up in a motherfucking house with kids for at least 30 fucking years. That woman never worked, never talked to anybody. She never had friends. She never did fucking nothing because that's what the Virgo, the Mason, what it catch the blood clot, psychic. That's what he, her life was for him, among other fucking weird shit, right? And then I guess when my mom got older, she was like, what the fuck am I listening to the fucking clothed man for when I have fucking abilities? She was like, fuck this, USA, here I motherfucking come. <laughs> mm. That's, there's a ghost in. So I don't know if your mother talked to you. I'm eating something about the ghost in your room. It come from your mother. So maybe your grandmother. 
if this is your grandmother, me getting it, your grandmother upon your mother's side was stronger than your grandmother upon your father's side. Yes, I am so sorry to tell the public that Julie Thomas Thompson, Julie Thompson, farmer washer of Father Holland's Food for the Poor, she was a, a, a stronger psychic than Catherine. I am sorry to say this. Catherine used spell. Catherine used to use witchcraft with urine. Virgo. So even though you hated my mother's mother, um, she actually was a psychic one. I did Julie. I never blood clot, Catherine. Let us let us see what the fuck Taurus is, and we're going to finish the reading here. It's a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. I am seeing though that you're in the splitting image of your mother. Me getting your mother. You are your mother. You is your fucking mother. Me don't know why you, your mother do to your father. Why your father not like you? Uh, me don't know why your mother do to this Virgo man. Me getting Taro, see where you are your mother. No, maybe somebody feel like, oh, you're just like your mother. You're going to snake me. You're just like your mother. That's why you're not at work. My mother never worked a majority of her life. They made sure of it. They made sure to keep her isolated and confined. She only had kids. Only until she was 50 odd, she started living her life. And she was so, so called under the guide of a mason. She was a high priestess. She, she ain't lived no fucking life until 50. That nigga had her trapped in that motherfucking place. He, that nigga was using witchcraft on her her whole motherfucking life. She didn't even fucking know. I knew. I motherfucking knew. I motherfucking knew. So usually that's what happens when you are a high priestess. You're going to meet men, women, people who are going to want to control you, bind you. Because he, he binded, he, Virgo binded Pisces really good. He binded her for years, years. I'm still going to watch this. I sat down and watched this woman being controlled under witchcraft and she never even know. I'm not saying that she don't perform witchcraft too, but I'm just saying what I've noticed. She got my mom fucked up. Probably how he got all other girls in his family fucked up. Cause let me tell you something about Virgo. If nobody never tell us about Virgo, if Virgo knows that them will get money, Virgo will sell them daughter virginity. My mother might do the same thing. I won't lie. My mother may she may she may make a man fuck you for money too. My mother might be the same one, but Virgo, yeah, Virgo will make sure them find the richest man, the richest man to set you up on, so that him can get money while that man fuck you and abuse you. So happy birthday to y'all. I'm going to leave it here until next time. Bye.